goal of the field artillery is to destroy or neutralize the enemy with indirect fire as part of the all-arms battle. Canada's field artillery units currently employ the M109A4155 mm self-propelled howitzer and three towed 105 mm howitzers, LG1 Mark II, C1, and C3. Depending on the gun and ammunition, the 105 mm can achieve a maximum range of 11.5 kilometers using standard high explosive ammunition, which has a lethal radius of 30 meters. With extended range ammunition, 18.5 kilometers can be achieved. The 155 mm is effective up to 18 kilometers using conventional ammunition, which has a lethal radius of 50 meters. The standard projectile for use against soft targets is HE, high explosive ammunition, used by both the 105 mm and the 155 mm. HE depends primarily upon blast for effect, but the shower of jagged steel fragments from its casing can have a devastating impact on soft skin vehicles and personnel in the open or without overhead protection. The ammunition accepts several fuse options, including an impact fuse for detonation on contact with the target. A delay impact fuse setting will allow for greater penetration, increasing the effectiveness against protected personnel targets. A mechanical time fuse causes ignition or expulsion above the ground based on time of flight, while a variable time proximity fuse uses radio waves to determine the projectile's distance from the target. With both fuses, the blast or expulsion occurs near the end of the trajectory, at a lethal distance from the target. 155mm weapons also include dual-purpose improved conventional munitions. Each DPICM projectile delivers a total of 88 dual-purpose armor-defeating and anti-personnel grenades over a target area. When the time fuse functions, the shell expels its submunitions over the target area. A nylon ribbon streamer stabilizes, orients, and arms each grenade mechanically. On impact, the grenades detonate, directing a shaped charge downward. The shaped charge jet can penetrate two and three quarter inches of armor plate, while fragmentation of the grenade body produces anti-personnel effects. Area Denial Artillery Munitions, ADAM, and Remote Anti-Armor Mine Systems, RAMS, belong to the family of scatterable mines. Both deliver a payload of mines to the target area to deny or delay access to that area for a specific period of time. There are two types each of Adam and Rams projectiles, distinguished by their factory set self-destruct time. If not otherwise activated, both Adam and Rams mines will self-destruct after a long interval, 48 hours, or a short interval, 4 hours. Each Adam projectile carries 36 wedge-shaped anti-personnel mines. When the fuse functions at a predetermined time in flight, the shell's payload of mines is ejected and distributed radially by centrifugal force over the target area. Adam mine's arming sequence is initiated by impact with the ground. Each mine throws out seven censored trip wires up to six meters long. If the mine or wires are disturbed, the mine will set off an expelling charge sending a steel ball two meters into the air and detonating, scattering hundreds of high-velocity steel fragments. Each RAMS projectile carries nine anti-armor mines for use against enemy armored vehicles. When the shell's time fuse functions, the RAMS mines are ejected over the target area. From the moment of contact with the ground, the mines are armed and prepared to detonate on contact or on sensing the proximity of a tank target. The resulting shaped charge directed upward will immobilize a tank or cause spalling damage to its belly armor, thereby increasing its vulnerability as a target. On occasion, artillery is required to provide smoke to screen friendly activities, to blind the enemy, for signaling or to mark a target. Two types of smoke are available for 105mm and 155mm, white phosphorus and smoke base ejection. White phosphorus WP shells detonate on impact. As the WP filler contacts the air, it ignites to create a semi-dense vertically oriented white smoke. WP is used primarily for quick screening 
and has a secondary incendiary effect. Smoke base ejection, BE, is suited to deliberate smoke missions such as screening, spotting, and signaling. The shell functions with a preset time fuse, expelling and igniting a smoke canister which emits 40 to 90 seconds of dense, white, or colored, horizontally oriented smoke, depending on the filler used. The role of the air defense artillery is to prevent the enemy from interfering from the air with our operations on the ground. This job is accomplished with three highly effective weapons systems. The 35 mm twin gun GDF-005, used in concert with Skyguard fire control, the shoulder launched Javelin S-15, and the multi-purpose ADATS, air defense anti-tank system. The GDF-005 35 mm gun has an effective range of 4 km. The Javelin's optimum range is 4.5 km against fixed wing aircraft and 5.5 km against helicopters. The effective range of the ADATS is 8 km. The GDF-005 35 mm commonly provides point air defense of critical assets and can fire up to 1100 rounds per minute. A typical section consists of two guns and the Skyguard fire control system, although the onboard systems of the GDF-005 equip it for autonomous operation. The common 35 mm ammunition is high explosive incendiary, HEI, base fused to allow for excellent penetration of the target. HEI combines blast and high fragmentation characteristics with an incendiary compound. The AHEAD system was designed to expand the capabilities of the 35mm and is well named Advanced Hit Efficiency and Destruction. As each shell in an engagement burst leaves the muzzle, its time fuse is computer programmed to detonate just ahead of the target. On detonation, each payload of 152 heavy metal subprojectiles is ejected and directed in a cone-shaped formation into the target. A short burst creates dense coverage and an effect on the target that is superior to high-velocity fragmentation. Man-portable and shoulder-launched, the Javelin S-15 is primarily designed to engage very low-level aircraft. With the attachment of the aiming unit to the canister containing the missile, which also acts as a launcher, the Javelin can be ready to fire in under five seconds. The laser-guided Javelin S-15 missile is armed in flight only at a safe distance from the detachment. It will self-destruct if the guidance signal is lost. The warhead activates on impact or on proximity to the target, creating a powerful blast and fragmentation effect. Designed as a multi-purpose weapon against both ground and very low to medium altitude air targets, ADAT's Air Defense Anti-Tank System has eight ready-to-fire missiles. The ADAT's missile is laser-guided with a propulsion system that accelerates it to Mach 3 plus in approximately three seconds. ADAT's high explosive warheads are equipped with both impact and proximity fuses. Detonation produces a shaped charge able to penetrate 900 millimeters of rolled armor with fragmentation of the steel outer case sending shrapnel through the target.